And on the second day in the world of Banjo Kazooie, the stupid bird and his retarded bear friend conquered the crescent roll seashell. What happens next? Find out on this episode of That's, That's Amazing! That was a lovely intro. That was something, wasn't it? <laughs> so, remember uh, this crab that I murdered the last time? Yeah. You're gonna kill him again. <laughs> nice timing. You didn't get the thingies. I don't need them. And I don't they're, care. And they're, and they're not going to despawn, so we might as well just leave them there. Alright. So, we're trying to get back into the habit of doing the word of the day, Peter. Word of the day. Word of the day. Josh put up a graphic that says word of the day. Fancy music. Yeah, that'll be But nice. stuff that won't get us copyrighted, so. Because that's... Annoying. Hooray YouTube for being terrible and <sighs> nobody likes it, ever. Okay, so the word of the day. We believe it's pronounced larder. It's pronounced larder. A cool room in which meat and other foods are stored until ready for use. I'm not gonna lie, whenever we were first read that definition, I thought whenever he said cool room, it was like, what? Oh, okay. You didn't understand it? No, like, not no, that. No, oh, that? I was just completely <laughs> baffled by the fact that metal was speaking to me. <laughs> well, you're, it's this game, I mean, it's ting, like, ting, 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 ting. I mean, it seems like everything talks to you in this game. Everything so. does talk to you in this game, and that's one of the things that I like about it, is because nothing goes without consciousness. And that's another good example. Feathers are talking to you. Even the feathers speak to you. Anyway, back so, to the word of the day. Like, I heard that, and, like, I heard cool room, and I was like, what is that, a room with, like, sunglasses on? A cool room? You didn't think like... I didn't think like cold room at like first. I thought like... I thought like, oh, you're in the cool room. You're in the cool room. Welcome to the larder, baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. That's like... That's like a basis for like... Argument that... Mr. Richardson was like trying to rape you in the shower or something. You're in the cool room now. What? I don't know. Okay, moving on. We're playing Banjo-Kazooie. Banto Kazooie? I heard you say Banjo. Did you say Banjo? Oh, you're right. No, I did say Banjo, but you're right. I am pronouncing it wrong. Didn't we say it was Kanjo and Berzupal? Or something like that, yeah. Anyway, um, so we're playing this game again. Yeah. If, we're it feels we're like gonna finish it. Yeah. We're gonna finish it. Yeah. Okay, where does this go? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> what? What am I- what- what is it expecting me to do? Throw it at the pirate. <laughs> was, was you, it's like you throw it at him and it like knocks him off the ship and just like knocks him out cold. Is yeah, he burping? He, he speaks so, in Belch. Is that flatulence? Like No, uh, it's Belch. Um, like, oh, like never burping. mind. I was going to make a joke. It's a reference to a movie, but I'm not going to. There are people in <coughs> Banjo-Tooie yeah. that speak in flatulence. That's so Actually, random. Actually, there's... I think... Um, what is that? No, what's the name of the ship? What's the name of the ship? Salty, Salty Hippo. Hippo. <laughs> okay. Name of the episode right there. I think we just found it. <laughs> Salty hippo. Oh, I was like, what is that? <laughs> Why is there a molehill, like, made of dirt on the second level of a yeah. ship made of there's wood? There's, like, no point, or there's, no like, no way he... Unless he has, like, teleportation with those. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Like, um, like the Mario tubes. Yeah. I mean, not necessarily. Like the war pipes? The war, yeah, because maybe, maybe, you know, maybe he's actually, like, this, maybe like, he, deity. Wait, what's this? Maybe he's the oh, deity of the, of the, of Ooh. this world. Maybe he's God? Yeah. Well, I, I avoid saying that just because it. I like to address it in a different context. Yeah. I don't know. Because, it's like. Usually when people are like God, they automatically think Christianity. But I say deity to reference any kind of godlike form. But I, I whatever. get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Is that another one? There's another one. Hi! Don't touch me. <laughs> this is my no no square. Hey, I just what? saw I just saw the other one too, so we'll go get him later. Uh, have you no never comment. heard that before? No, I have. It's just it's yeah. Um, stop. stop! Don't, Don't touch me there. This is my no-no no no square. square. Yeah, I've, I've yeah. Of course, I heard it. It's just it's, it was funny the context. Except Schuster again. got it wrong whenever we would joke with him about it, and he would make it so much more inappropriate. What? Like what would he say? Oh, well, he would he would like screw up like two words, and it would just make the context so much more like vulgar. 
stop. Like, he would always say, stop. Don't touch me there. These are my no-no squares. <laughs> oh my First gosh. of all, round. Round? Round. Not square, round. That's the first issue with this. Second, it's not appropriate. <gasps> Third, <coughs> where are you going with this? Um, Third, oh, that's a lighthouse? Time. I didn't even know that was a lighthouse. That's cool. Yeah. This is Kazooie's shot. Oh, no! What? What's going on? There's another something I gotta find before I can get the jigsaw puzzle up there. Uh... Yay! <laughs> it just comes out of, like, the universe. I love <laughs> The universe is just like, something has happened. <laughs> You imagine? I love that I'm playing this game with you because like every weird thing that happens in this game you take with such bewilderment Well, yeah, cuz I've never played it. So and that's great. Yeah You know what I want to do? I enjoy sharing this with someone who's like Forgive my word you my word choice, but like you're like clueless to how things no, work in this no, world, you know? it's it's totally true Ah, oh, oh, freaking shark. He just disappears. It's okay. He's just like Stay in the water a little. No, 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 please. No, he just evaporates. Maybe he's like the Cheshire Cat and has the evaporating oh, powers. God, everything has like superpowers in this world. I like it. Why are the those like treasure chests are so inviting, but then they're like, I'm going to eat you. So it's kind That's, of obvious. It's kind of like they're Venus flytraps, you know? But made of treasure chests. Actually, no, that's actually a, a really good analogy because they do look like... What's in there? Oh, I need to go in there. Oh, you do? Well, yeah, how do you get, like... How? Do you just have to time it? Getting out is the tricky part. That's what I'm saying. Do you, do oh, you have... no, I missed one. Oh, okay. I thought he, like, kept it closed. I didn't realize. Okay. Oh, that was, yeah. That was a lot more straightforward than I thought it was going to be. What, what was the game? Because there was a game where it was like, you have to get something from inside of this thing. But if you take too long to get it, then you'll get eaten and you'll die in, like, one hit. It sounds like a Pikmin thing. But no, it's know. not a Pikmin thing. It's it's either another. It's either Banjo Tooie because I don't think it's this game. Oh. It's either Banjo Tooie or it's like every Mario game ever made. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> every Mario game ever made. What is? What? Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Well, we're looking for gold, so we're gonna follow the clues wherever they oh, may so take us. Oh, so use the feather to gain altitude? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's really cool. Okay, so we're gonna. Go do this now and get this jigsaw. You know, I was actually, um, I was telling you earlier, I was playing Star Fox 64 and Goldeneye. Yeah. Oh, Goldeneye too? Yeah. Yeah. We're, well, I was at a friend's house and we we're, we we're doing, uh, we we're just doing multiplayer stuff. And, uh, it would be really cool to do Star Fox 64 campaign. It would because, you like how that just happened? What? I just found what? another one. It just, what was that noise? Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. Like, okay, because anyway. I, was, I was at the top of that wall, and then I just jumped down. I was like, hey, there's another one there. Because I knew there was something back here. I just didn't know what it was. So I just basically skipped over the hard part of trying to trek all the way over here. That looks like a pain. Yeah. I mean, like, not ungodly difficult, but just, yeah, like, it's still inconvenient. Just, it's, it is inconvenient. But, you know, that like doing it the way I did, it wasn't so much in my, out of the way. So I just decided to take that opportunity while I had it. Oh! Oh! What? Oh! I break all the rules and I walk on the sides of the stairs. <laughs> well, aren't you cool? Alright, no, what, uh, what I was saying? Yeah, keep going. Um, okay. It would be really cool to do just a uh, multiplayer episode of, like, um... Goldeneye? Goldeneye, yeah. And then a campaign for 64, uh, Star Fox. Star Fox, yeah, because... I never finished that campaign, so yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. What, of Star Fox 64? Yeah, I never finished it. What? Never finished Star Fox 64. Why? Okay, apparently, like... Oh my god. A lot of my friends haven't, because... Well, I mean, the game nice. for me was a rental. Oh, that's I never hard. actually owned Star Fox 64, gotcha. so... Dude. I did have Goldeneye. And after about seven and a half years of playing that game, I finally beat that campaign. <laughs> Seven. That sounds like me with uh, Ocarina of Time. <laughs> yeah, same thing for Ocarina of Time. Well, yeah, because I, I, I owned it, but I didn't really play it because I was young and I just didn't know what to do. Yeah, like, I always told you that I love playing it, but I never, like, starting a new file. I would always play on my dad's file. Yeah, yeah, just, and then you keep using the money. <laughs> I'd steal all his money and, like, use it for stupid things. Like, uh, what was it? There was a there was a, there was was a a game that you could do. Where is it the shooting? It, no, it was or, the uh, the bomb shoe bowling alley where you, like, throw the, the crawler oh, bombs yep. down the alley or whatever. Yep. I would waste uh, all of fun. his money. I would waste all of his money in that game 
just solely doing that. That's exciting. Yeah. Those games were pretty fun. Yeah. I mean, now they're probably not as fun. Like, um, the mini games, not the whole game. Oh. The whole game's a blast. But those mini games, I don't know if they're the still as fun. The mini games were, like, the best part for me when I was younger, yeah? you know? But now it's just like, eh. eh. Let me just get the campaign, because the campaign's awesome. So it's kind of like <sighs> a flip-flop of how it used to be, you know? Yeah, exactly. Because now, yeah. Oh, um, man. You ready for a twofer? Can I get it? Can I get the twofer? I missed the twofer. I like how he's, he's like, are you like okay? So dazed and confused. Are you okay? Ah! He's dead. Wow. <laughs> that was that was actually pretty brutal. It's just like limbs go flying. Well, everywhere. I mean, you've seen how people like, or not people, but <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, well, we missed it because we were talking about how brutal that death scene was. But you get to this part and it's just like the X turns into a question mark. He's like, ha ha, you'll never find me. <laughs> that was like terribly like obvious. Well, no, that was kind of. The Ow! Way to go, douche. That was rude. He's on the run. <laughs> Shoot him! Just. <laughs> <laughs> He's down. <laughs> I need backup. <laughs> just comes in. The whole SWAT team comes by boat. Like freaking uh, Coast Guard just comes in. Oh god. We've got a runner, brown male, <laughs> on the coast side, <laughs> approximately 30 kilograms, brown box. It's brown box. Snipers in the helicopter, you got him? Yeah, we got him. He <laughs> just takes him out. <laughs> oh my god, we oh, just man. turned everything into so violent, like, situations. That's what's making, uh... First of all, that's what's making Twilight Princess so much fun to play, because we just <laughs> got into a swing. <laughs> oh my god, that's right, with the whole, like, when you turn into the wolf, <laughs> yeah. and you just violently... That squirrel is dead! Yeah, you just rip apart that squirrel, but you don't actually, it just all happens in our head. Yeah. <laughs> Because our heads are messed up. We are messed up. That episode's probably not going to air before this one does, so a lot of people are going to be confused. But yeah, there's something you have to look forward to. Also, um, next time on That's Amazing. We uh, continue. I need to learn how to jump like a birdie. And I'm, I'm going to probably just let you keep playing because it's so much fun just to watch you do this <laughs> and then comment on every little thing. So next time on That's Amazing. Bye.